Hi guys, I thought after the most volatile move and a V-shaped recovery that we saw yesterday, I thought a video was in order. So um, on your screen, uh, what you see are is the S&P 500. You have, I have the NASDAQ weekly and I've got the Dow Jones daily. All right, so the black lines are nothing but the bear and the bull market line. So how do you differentiate is from the highs of the market, that's right about here, Okay, you just calculate multiplied by 0.8. You should get a line that differentiates a bull or a bear market. What it said is, and how traders and analysts look at um, the markets, if they're in a bull territory or if they're in a bear territory, is that the price needs to be under the bull bear price level. And uh, and it remains under it or closes under it. It's in a bear territory. Okay, if it closes back above it, it's in a bull territory. Um, for the S and P five hundred, the price was actually in the bear territory for a while yesterday until it bounced back up all over again. So as long as it remains above the four three three seven point seven zero, I believe that we will remain in the bull territory. On the other hand. Uh, the way that I look at it is that this entire bit has been a correction. What you also get to see on and hear on Bloomberg and other uh, financial you know channels. Uh, let me go down into a smaller time frame. Let's put it on a daily time frame and let me just show you. So um, let's grab an image that can draw on the chart. Okay. So a correction is always defined by a three wave move down. Okay, so it's an ABC pattern, All right? Something that I always look at, an ABC pattern is something that you can always use to get into a trade when the markets are rebounding or the markets are, um, let's say, moving the opposite way of the fundamentals. So if you see something like this here, okay, you have an ABC pattern, you have an ABC pattern, okay? And these are also known as corrections. This thing is just a bit larger, right about here is just a bit larger, A, B, C. From here on, there's there are several possibilities that it can do. One, as we are waiting for the Federal Reserve to increase interest rates, that would be somewhere around March. I, ex I believe that this range could actually extend further. So we might, we might see a two wave, sorry, a three wave move up and then a five wave move down. But it not necessarily has to be somewhere around here. It can actually go all the way back right on top and then go down five waves, okay? Staying above the bull bear line, okay? Staying in the bull territory, that's the idea. So uh, the plan is to keep the market long, why? Because the economies are expanding. There is no reason right now for the economies to be um, saying that they are contracting. So we are looking for markets to be long, remain long. Analysts uh, and traders are now coming online, and I, I heard several of them yesterday talk about that there is no reason for the markets to go short to this extent when the economies are expanding, and we do see that there is a slowdown, but the markets have no reason to, to uh, sell off this much from the highs. So uh, keep that in mind. So if we... If you're looking at an uh, S&P 500, okay, so it's right now, you see how it's bouncing off that, uh, the bull bear line, okay? And it's trying to remain above it, and I will still be a buyer as long as it shows me bullish levels from that line. NASDAQ is far away from it. It also bounced off way earlier. And Dow Jones Industrial Average, there's, it's, it has a lot of way to go. So I'm, sti I'm still believing that um, 
this would be a bull market we're going to see bull territory the federal reserve is going to soften its um, uh, you know uh, comments on the markets it's going to soften it because the market sell off can worsen if they are very very hawkish about the situation and they believe they want to uh, raise interest rates a lot more so um the less they they speak you know jerome powell speaks uh the higher we see the markets going okay so uh, that would be tomorrow so trade safe